All right, we're going to try to see if we can get this MTD yard machine's push mower fixed uh, from a previous video when we did a diagnostic on. If you guys are interested, stay tuned. Let's start turning some wrenches. Hey, y'all. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? My name is John, and my friends call me Turning Wrenches 85 here on YouTube. Hope everybody's doing good today. So far, welcome back to the channel. Um, you know, on the diagnostic video, you know, we did the Murray and the MTD one. And uh, we uh, still working on the Murray one. I'm um, having some issues with that one right now. So uh, we're just going to... We're going to try to see what the MTD one uh, has in store. See if we can get that one sorted out. And I'll come back to that Murray one here. It shouldn't take that much to get it going, I, I would think. But uh, just something going on that's, that's acting a fool right now. So um, we know the MTD one what runs uh, from a previous video. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, check it out. I should have a link for it. Uh, if you guys want to look for it uh, somewhere in the up above me up above my head or it's somewhere in the comments section pinned uh there and we'll you guys can check out that video and uh see when i did diagnostic on those two mowers there but uh you know this one runs uh we sprayed some carburetor spray on in the throat of the carburetor and it ran and then it died no wait a minute, no back it up john i forgot this one doesn't run i forgot about that the Murray ran. This one didn't run. We gotta see what's going on with it. Um, I had somebody tell me to uh, try a compression test. Um, we'll see about that. I got a compression tester. I got it from Roger McDo McDonald. He uh, he sent it to me a long time ago back. We can always pull that out of here and see if that works. So let's start turning wrenches. Let's um, first of all, I'm gonna get all this um, this crud off of here real quick. So let me get you guys set up on the tripod. Let me get my leaf blower out here. And we're going to get all this junk off here real quick. And then we're going to set it up on the truck. And we'll, we're first going to check the carburetor and see what's going on with that. So let me guys bring you guys back uh, after I start blowing this stuff off of here. Yuck. All right, let's start cleaning this thing up. Get it up on the let's get it up on the truck and see what's going on with it but uh let's take a look at it real quick uh, cleaned it off a little bit better still looks awful though but uh if this thing runs i want to take it off of the wheels it's on and put it on a bigger wheel push mower if uh, if i don't uh I might take the, the axles off of it and switch it off that way. We'll see how it, I, I can fix it. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll worry about that when we come to it. we got to worry about see if this engine runs first. So let's go on with that situation. So uh, let, me, uh, let me get the compression tester and we'll check that out real quick. All right, I got my compression tester. This is the one that Roger McDonald sent me. Uh, I didn't even ask for this. He sent it to me. So, uh, I haven't used it in a while here, so I figured this would be a good time to pull it back out here. So, Roger, thank you uh, for sending this to me. I remember when you sent this to me, and I wasn't even expecting it there. And uh, it's a y, YST tool, YS tool. But, uh, like I said, it's a pretty good kit. So, uh, I'll go ahead and put that here. Let me get the spark plug out. We're gonna check this thing and see if it's got compression. And then we'll just go from there. Somebody told me to check it and make sure it's got compression. I forgot who it was. So let's 
take the spark plug out. We gotta take it out anyway to check it. I remember this was an NGK spark plug. So I was like, somebody was taking care of it. But they put an NGK in there. Like I said, the new spark plug, NGK, BKR5E spark plug. So let's, uh, let's get this out. Let's go ahead and hook this up. Mm -hmm. Get that set up. Let's see. I think this is the right thread for it. I only thread in so much, huh? That's odd. Very strange. Hmm. Well, we'll try it. So. Bring you guys. Right there, we'll check it out together. So I'll pull it over a few times. It's got a blade on it, so they do anything? Not really showing much. Huh. See, I don't know if this thing's threaded on there all the way, so I don't know if that's why we're getting a, that much of a reading. Let me make sure I got a... Okay, pick. Oh, I got to put an adapter on here. Okay. Let's try it now. Maybe get a better reading out of it. And put an adapter on here. That should maybe help it a little bit better. We'll try it again because it looks like it said only 25. So let's see. Reset. I'm gonna put it right here. Pull it over about three or four times. That's not good. <laughs> I'll try it again. If this is correct, boys, we're only showing 26 PSI. Look at this. If this is what it's correct at, it's trying to say it's only 26. I'll give it a try again. Didn't sound good, though. That's for sure. This one might be a lost cause of me doing anything with it. I got it reset. I'll pull it over a little bit more and see if it does anything different.
I uh, even went down lower. I think, uh, I think this one's a DOA. Unless we got a valve that's stuck. Let me see how it sounds when it pulls it over. Compression when we pull it over, though. Well, you know what? The piston's moving. Huh. I see the piston moving. Wait a minute. It's got compression. Huh. So, why is it saying it's got low? Okay. We'll come back to it after it runs and see what it does, if we can get it to run. That's kind of weird, though, because, look, I just put my finger on here. I'm going to stay quiet. You guys listen. See? It's got compression. So why is the compression tester telling me different? Okay, we're going to get it up on the bench. We're going to take the carburetor off and look at, clean it. Look at it, see what's going on with it. I think this one was empty anyway. Let's check. If it's empty, then it's... Okay, it's got fuel. Okay. Anyway, let's go. we're going to take all that out of there anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, get it up on the truck. And we'll uh, take a look at it. Alright. Let's get this thing off of here. 5 16 bolts. Or 8. Take that off of there. Take the recoil off. We got spider webbage. Awesome. Let's see. Air filter. Take that off of there. Put that there. So we're going to need eight and seven. So, Eight for the side bolts here. Make sure you lose them like I almost did. That one's not coming off. These are actually different stars. These got Torx heads on them, but they're still seven. Almost lost that bolt too. Not today, my friend. Not so fast, my friend. That takes that off of there. Let's get this off. Well, maybe. There we go. Thank you. Now, we need to, I got a jar right here. Take this off. Take the carburetor off. It's dirty. Somebody's been bending the linkage. So somebody's been fiddling. And stuff they shouldn't have. Look at this. Hang on, I'm gonna show you this. Somebody's been messing with something they shouldn't have. Look, this doesn't bend on its own. There we go. Fix that. Anyhow, God, this thing's full. I I hate to see what's in here, honestly. Anyhow, let's bring you guys over here. Bring you guys right there. Put you guys right there.
Probably shouldn't have done it that way. Well, this is a full tank. Look at the gas coming out of there. Well, so called that. It's probably not gas. That looks like water. Let's try a different, different way. Oh, there's the water. <laughs> there's your water. Check that out. There's your water right down there. Ain't that a lovely vintage? Well, if I wanted that to run, it wouldn't have ran anyway. Not on that. I think this filter's clogged up. Cause there's a whole bunch in here and it's still not coming out. That's interesting. Anyway. Uh... Take the carburetor apart and see what's going on with it. Probably the same kind of schmo too as well. You guys right there, can you guys see? Go ahead and Take this off. 930 second screws or sevens. Okay. No vent tube clogged up. I forgot to bring my tool out here to get these off. Well, there's your, there's water. Don't even smell like gas. Straight water. Do you like some water? that out of there. I'm not going to take the jet out of there. I'm going to just see if it runs by the way it is. We're going to do this like a quick and dirty. Okay, the pin came out, that was perfect, that's what I wanted to happen. You can go back on there. Thank you. We're going to try this first. Then if we gotta go extensive, we will, but I'm trying the, the easy part first. Let's blow all that out. I think we can get it to run. So, put these screws back in. I know I should take the main jet out and clean it, but let, let me just, give it, give me, give me a second, let me see what I can do. Maybe this is all that we need to do is do that. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna clean that tank off, off camera. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, but let's put the, uh, where'd that linkage go? I just straighten back out. Put that back on there. This, O-rings are still intact. So, put that there. I'm gonna go blow that, that tank out off camera, and I'll bring you guys back. Actually, I want you guys, I wanna see what happens with this. See, it's not draining out like it should, and there's some still in there. We got a clog in here somehow. Let's take that hose off of there. Coming through there. It's kind of odd. It was not. I'm going to spray some carburetor spray in there. Get that drips out of there, any. That's pouring out of there. All right, I'm gonna clean this off camera. So I'm like, you guys know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna clean this off camera. I'll bring you guys back, so I'm not boring you guys with me just cleaning out a tank. So uh, let me go do that real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, I blew out the tank best I could. So hopefully enough, no issues there. Blow out this line real quick. Hang on. Sorry about that. Let's put that on there. Put the fuel line on there. Now before, put that fuel line on there. Put this back on here. On its tabs. And we'll put the fuel line on there. There we go. Put the fuel line on there. Clamps on there. Um, let's put the base back on here real quick. Make sure. Things like it's working awesome. Go ahead and get these screws on here real quick. So put the eights on here. Hold this plate plate on there. Let's try this again. One, two, 
one. Get the other eight to go. Get the other eight that goes over here. It doesn't want to go over there. There we go. Switch to the seven. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to bump you guys. These are, this one's a little bit newer model because this one's got the Torx heads on the screws. That's very interesting. There we go. Put that on there. I know this filter is shot. It's no good, but for right now, with the filter, what we need to do, I want to see if this thing runs. So we're going to go with that. See, look at the old fuel that was in there. Well, it was fuel. Now it's water. Water-based fuel. Uh, we're going to have to clean all this cobweb stuff out, but for right now, we're going to see if it runs. So... Let's get this back on here real quick. Now, it shouldn't have any water in the cylinder, too. Somebody mentioned something about water in the cylinder. It shouldn't be now since I cranked it over without the, without the uh, spark plug in it. All right. Uh, let me get this on the ground. I'm going to check the oil, and we'll put fuel in it, and we'll see if it starts. All right, I got the spark plug here. Put that on there in a minute. Here, uh, let's check the oil on it first and see what's uh, going on with that situation. I think it was dark. So it, it's gonna need an oil change. It's got something that looks like oil. It's got something in it. See, this is what it's got. So, that's enough to check it out. We're going to have to change it. But we'll, we need something in there to see if it runs. So, we'll worry about that situation later. Alright, let's put the spark plug back in here. Let's put the MGK one back in here real quick. stubborn to get on there. I got it on the threads, but it's just acting a little funky. Thank you. 
That was weird. I had to check those. Check that. Anyway, I got fuel. Got what little bit's left. Check that real quick. I'm not going to give it too much. I got to get some more. I'm almost out. So, uh, let's see. Prime for a good time. Cables work. Blades on there. It's got some sort of oil. Well, it's oil, but it's dirty. So, one, two, three. I'll see if it fires. Here we go. Huh. I think it's shot, guys. I hear something rattle in there, but it sounds like it had compression though. That's weird. Huh. This one might be a goner too. I hear something in there, but that's kind of weird though because it had compression. I think it's a good good one guys. I think this one's a goner. I think this one's a goner. Something's rattling in there. It sounded like a heck of pressure though, because that was weird. Well. It looks like this one's not making the chopping block. too freely yeah I think this one's gone boys sounds like it had compression when we uh but it had low compression when we saw it so uh, I think this one's gone so we're just gonna stop it right here so we're gonna end this video right here because I don't think it's we're gonna go any further with this one all right well we tried I tried doing the carburetor clean we tried to do a compression test on it and it was low on compression anyway but it felt like it had compression you know when you put your thumb on there and it, and it had a little you know a little suction coming back at you so I thought it was gonna go but something's rattling in there and I don't think this one uh, is gonna make the cut of uh, getting fixed so unfortunately this is going to be a parts mower, which is okay because I got cable on here, so that's a good thing. Uh, I always need cables, so that's good. I got, you know, recoil, air filter, carburetor. Uh, I got wheels. These wheels, you don't, normally you go on those regular 20-inch push mowers, so that'll be good. Um, I wanted this engine to put on a big wheel push mower I got that had a bad engine. Uh, that sort of knocks, so um, I guess uh, that's not going to happen. So anyway, um, wasn't much of a video. We didn't get this one going. So uh, you win some, you lose some on this one. And this one we got parts, so no big deal. So um, thank you guys for watching, okay? I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed to me, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it very much. I'm going to get out of here. You guys uh, keep on turning those wrenches, y'all. See you guys next video. Y'all take care.